Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on Porter Governor with the help of diagram. In this video, we are going to use simple basic formula instead of using complicated formulas. Now first, I will read what is the given problem. All the arms of Porter Governor are 178 mm long and are hinged at a distance of 38 mm from the axis of rotation. The mass of each ball is 1.15 kg and mass of sleeve is 20 kg. The governor sleeve begins to rise at 280 rpm when the links are at an angle of 30 degree to the vertical. Assuming the friction force to be constant, determine minimum and maximum speed of rotation when inclination of arms to the vertical is 45 degree. So this was the given question. Let us first understand how to draw the diagram as per given data. Now it is given that the arms are hinged at a distance of 38 mm from the axis of rotation. So this axis of rotation is the spindle axis and we have to draw here in the form of dash and dot. The arms are hinged that means end points of the arms are at a distance of 38 mm. So we have to show here 38 mm horizontal distance from the spindle axis and we will show end points that is the point P as well as point D for the arms. The arms are equal length that means from the center of the fly ball these end, end points are of equal length and which is equal to 178 mm. So we have to show that. Now if I draw here one horizontal line passing through the center of fly ball in the form of dash and dot then here is the point of intersection of this line with this vertical spindle axis is known as point G. Then I will say that this horizontal distance BG is nothing but distance R. And now we have to extend this R BP here and the point of intersection is the point O with this vertical spindle axis. Then the vertical distance that is from O to G is known as the height H that we have to show in the diagram. Now in this question it is mentioned that we have to uh, consider the frictional force and this frictional force is not given. So if we observe the given data then angle alpha and angle beta that is the angle made by these arms with this vertical line passing through the end line. So these two angles which is equal to 30 degree and that is mentioned. So if we observe this question here or uh, with the help of diagram we can say that this is the vertical line and with this vertical line this is the arm which is making angle alpha. Then the spindle axis is also vertical and this is the same line that we have to extend. So here is also angle alpha. That is these two angles are same. Now we will consider the equilibrium of this system. And we will find out what is the value of frictional force. So uh, how to decide the frictional force? So if we observe there is the central weight at the sleeve. So when the speed increases then what is happening sleeve will move in the upward direction and frictional force we have to show in the opposite direction that is in the downward direction and when speed decreases then sleeve will move in the downward direction and frictional force will we have to show in the upward direction and because of that weight at the central load we have to show that this M that will act in the downward direction that is weight mg. So this frictional force that is the uh, direction of frictional force will depend upon the speed increases or speed decreases. So we will show here the total down, uh, force that is equal to mg plus minus f by 2. Then related to fly ball because of the mass of the fly ball there is the weight that will act in the vertically downward direction passing through the center of fly ball that is weight w. 
and uh, these fly balls are rotating about the spindle axis so we will show here the centrifugal force fc that will act in radially outward direction so we will first find out what is the value of r so suppose this system is in equilibrium then how to find out this value of r so for that we will consider the triangle uh, bfp so here is the angle alpha but what is the value of r that is bf plus fg so first we will find out what is the value of bf because fg is equal to 38 mm so how to find out so in this triangle we know what is the value of bp that is the length of bp and here is the angle alpha so this bf is equal to bp sin of alpha that is sin of 30 so when we put the value so bp is 170 so answer is 127 mm now we will find out what is the value of h that is the distance from o to g so again we will consider consider the triangle o b g so for this o b g uh, we know what is the distance b to g and we also know what is the angle alpha so here is also angle alpha that is angle made by this at this point o so this h is equal to that is og is equal to bg by tan of alpha that is bg 127 by tan of 30 which is equal to 220 millimeter so in this way this value of r and value of h is getting calculated now we will move for the basic formula so what is the basic formula so when we are going to consider the frictional force we have to consider related to this capital mg that is we related to central weight we have to uh, add or subtract this frictional force so this is the final or basic formula mg plus minus f by 2 plus small mg which is equal to fc by tan alpha minus mg plus minus f by 2 into tan beta by tan alpha now in this case alpha is equal to beta is equal to 30 degree that means these two angles are same so tan beta by tan alpha that is also same and which is equal to 1 so we will consider that now again we will put all the known values so capital m is known g is 9.81 so 20 into 9.81 plus minus f by 2 plus 1.15 into 9.81 which is equal to now fc that is centrifugal force is equal to m r omega square and omega is 2 pi n by 60 so i will put here m r and in the bracket 2 pi n by 60 bracket square divided by tan of alpha so what is the value of alpha here so if we observe tan of alpha means opposite side by nearby side that is this r divided by h so here i will write so this r r will be getting cancelled minus again mg plus minus f by 2 that is 20 into 9.81 plus minus f by 2 now again we will calculate this and we will put here the value so this rr is getting cancelled i will transfer this h to the numerator now here uh, this value is 98.1 plus minus f plus 11.28 which is equal to m is 1.15 into h is 0 0.22 multiplied by so this 0 0.22 we have to consider it into meter so we should not take this value in millimeter so we have to convert it into meter then here 2 pi n by 60 square that is 4 pi square n square by 60 square that is 3600 so value of n is also given 280 so we have to take that again minus 98.1 plus minus f so we will simplify this so i will shift this 98.1 plus minus f to this left hand side that is here it will become plus 98.1 plus minus f so i will solve this so what is here that is 98.1 plus minus f plus 11.28 plus 98.1 plus minus f which is equal to 217.5 so 207.48 plus minus f which is equal to 217.5 so now we will consider this term that is 207.48 we will consider here 207.5 so what is the answer so for plus minus f which is equal to 10 newton so here this is the frictional force so why it is plus and minus sign because when speed will increase that means Slip will move in the upward direction, friction
gravitational force will be in the downward direction. Speed will decrease, slip will move in the downward direction, frictional force will be in the upward direction. That means both the direction for both the frictional force here we will use plus and minus but the magnitude remains same that is 10 Newton. We have to find out what is the maximum speed and what is the minimum speed when the angle alpha which is equal to angle beta which is equal to 45 degree. So we, we have to first find out what is the value of R and what is the value of H when angle alpha is equal to 45 degree. So we will first find out what is the value of R. So this R is nothing but this BG and which is equal to BF plus FG. So this BF is equal to BP sin alpha. So this is BP sin of alpha that is 178 sin of 45 plus 30 which is equal to 164 millimeter. Then how to find out the value of H? So we will consider the triangle OBG. So this BG is nothing but R and what is the value of H which is equal to BG divided by tan of alpha. So tan of alpha is tan of 45. So that is equal to 164 millimeter. Now we will consider what is the minimum speed N1 at this angle alpha. So for that we, we have to first refer the diagram. So what is happening with the slip when speed minimizes or there is the minimum speed. So when speed becomes minimum then the slip will move in the downward direction. And that's why the frictional force we have to show in the opposite direction that is in the upward direction. And because of this central load there is the mg by 2 that will act in the downward direction because weight always acts in the downward direction. So this frictional force is in the opposite direction. So what is the total or net force here? So we have to take mg minus f divided by 2 that is the net force that we have to consider. So in the basic formula we have to refer here mg minus f by 2. So what is the formula? So pick for minimum speed n1 mg minus f by 2 plus small mg which is equal to fc by tan alpha minus mg minus f by 2 tan beta by tan alpha. So here angle alpha is equal to beta that is both the angles are same. So this term tan beta by tan alpha which is equal to 1. Now again we will put the value. So 20 into 9.81 minus 10 by 2 plus 1.15 into 9.81 which is equal to now this centrifugal force m r omega square. So omega is 2 pi n by 60. So I will write here m r 2 pi n 1 by 60 because at minimum speed n is equal to n 1 bracket square divided by tan of alpha. So tan of alpha. So if we consider this angle tan of alpha is r divided by this h. So this r r is getting cancelled. We have to transfer h in the numerator. So again we will put the value. So here again minus mg by mg minus f by 2. So we will write here and this tan beta by tan alpha is equal to 1. So when we calculate this here 93.1 plus 11.28 which is equal to m is 1.15 r that is getting cancelled. So 4 pi square n1 square by 3600 into h that is here this h we have to consider in meter that is 0 0.164. And again minus 93.1. So here in this equation only one unknown term that is n1. So we will find out this n1 and n1 is equal to 309 rp. Now we will find out what is the maximum speed n2. So what is happening when speed is maximum that means slim will move in the upward direction. So we have to show frictional force which is in the downward direction. So this frictional force is in the downward direction, central weight that will act in vertically downward direction. Both are in the same direction. So what is the net force? That is mg plus f divided by 2. This is the net force that we have to consider. So what is the basic formula? That is mg plus f by 2 plus small mg which is equal to fc by tan alpha minus mg plus f by 2 into tan beta by tan alpha. So in the same way we have to solve it. So instead of this 
uh, minus n we have to add here this frictional force that is equal to 10 newton so we have to add here and then fc that is mr omega square that is m into r into 2 pi n by 60 so instead of n we have to use here as a n2 and we have to take here as a square so this r r is getting cancelled h we have to take in the numerator so same procedure that we have to follow and here is the calculation and here only one unknown term that is n2 and n2 is equal to 324 rpm